Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Last week I did a couple videos demonstrating two different techniques that you could do to make your portraits pop. In this video, I'm going to show you two more techniques. So you could start out with an image that looks like this and make it pop and look like this. A week or so ago, I did a couple different videos uh, explaining how you could make a portrait pop by simply brightening the face. And in the first video, I simply brightened the face with a brush. And a lot of people commented that they used the HSL panel, specifically the targeted adjustment tool in the HSL panel, to brighten faces. So I did a second video demoing that technique. Well, throughout those two videos, a lot of people have been commenting that they brighten faces with the radio filter. And I've actually done a video demonstrating that technique probably about two years ago. I did a video showing how I brighten a face with the radio filter. I thought I'd do it again so we could have like a neat uh, grouping of these three videos demonstrating how to brighten a face. I'm also going to show a fourth method in this video. So I want to really put this to rest and not, not keep making videos on how to brighten a face to make a portrait pop. Uh, so we're going to have the first video where I brighten a face with the brush. I'll have a link to that in the description below this video. The second video where I brighten the face using the targeted adjustment tool in the HSL panel. Again, a link to that will be in the description below this video. And in this video, I'm going to show you both the radio filter method and another method. Now we'll start out with the radio filter method. And as a matter of fact, since I'm showing two methods, I have two different images, but I'm going to make a virtual copy of each. So we're gonna do uh, the radio filter on one, the second method on the other, then I'll go to this one and do the same thing and I'll make a virtual copy of this. So we have now these multiple copies. So we'll start with the radio filter method. It's, I mean, it's super easy. Pick the radio filter and just draw the filter over the face of your uh, individual, place it, go to the exposure slider and just move the exposure up a little bit. And that's all you need to do to really brighten the face. And you could expand it like to get her neck in this instance too, and move it down. So it's super fast, really could go very, very quickly. Make sure that uh, the invert checkbox is checked. Also, you could kind of better fit it to their face sometimes by moving around the feathering. So if it's affecting the background a little bit too much, or it's not hitting her ears in this case enough, you could pull feathering down a little bit, and that looks pretty good. So there's before, and there's after. So you really could see that just simply brightening the face of your subject really could make your photos pop. Very easy to do. Now, I'm going to go to the second image, the virtual copy I made. So we'll go to that. And I, this one, I'm going to show you that second method. And I've actually uh, done a video on this very recently, but not specifically for making a portrait pop. Uh, but you could use the same technique to make a portrait pop. We're going to use the brush. So we're going to click the brush tool, but we're going to go over here on the left-hand panel. And I want to go to 1 to 8 mode. If you don't see 1 to 8 over here, go to the little drop down and pick 1 to 8 so you have a smaller image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a feathering all the way down and I'm going to turn auto mask on. I'll take exposure and I, I'll put it up. And what I want to do is just get a brush that covers her entire face, including her neck, and just click once. Now, when I click once, it's probably not going to be a good fit at first, but you'll see what we'll do. So I'll click once and you can see it brighten part of her face, right? So we'll just click on other parts of her face. We'll make sure we have a brush that covers all her skin. We'll click there click there. Then I'll come in and I'll pull exposure down. Now I'll come over here. So it took three clicks. I'll go back to, if I could do it, I'll go back to fit. All right. So there's before and there's after. Before, after. That one's a lot. I, did, I turned exposure way down. There. How's that? Before, 
after, before, after. So if you're affecting, like I was uh, affecting part of the background over in here, what you could do is go to the erase brush and you could get and erase it from those areas. If you don't want to just click on the erase brush, you could stay on like the A brush is what I was using and hold the Alt key in. If you have a PC option, if you have a Mac, and you'll see it will temporarily jump over to the erase brush as long as you hold that button in, and then you could erase it from wherever you don't want it. So there's before and there's after. Before, after. I have it on our coat too. Erase it from there. What you'll find is of these four methods, probably one will work better on an image than the other three. So it's, it's nice to know all of them. So we'll go to our uh, next image. And what we'll do is we'll do the radial method first. So I'll close down the brush. We'll go to that radial filter. I have exposure up a little bit. I'll just draw a filter over her face. And we have invert selected. I'm going to make sure that it's covering all her neck and everything and kind of bring it out. I'll move the feathering around to better fit it to her face. And you can see works really well. And by the way, if you want to soften skin as well while you're here, you could come in and take texture and clarity down a little bit. So it's, it's just not a one trick pony. So when you put down that radio filter, you could do other things as well. And you know, you want to bring saturation up a little bit on her face, whatever you could do all that as well. So there is the radio filter and there is before, after. Probably have it a little too bright. I'll go back to that, pull that down. And there's before, after. So we'll go to the next image and we'll try that other method I mentioned. So we'll go to this one. This is the, the same image, it's just the virtual copy. We'll go to the brush. We'll go to one to eight mode. I will uh, have exposure up and I will have auto mask on and all that good stuff. I'll get a brush that's big enough covering in her, her entire face and click once and it covered some of it. I'll go over here where it missed and I'll click again and maybe down here around her neck and click again. And this one, I think uh, this method worked better than on the previous image. So we'll go back to fit and there's before, there's after, before, after after and again if it's affecting somewhere you don't want it to affect just click on that erase brush and you could remove it so overall on the three videos we have the four different methods we could just use a brush simply turn exposure up and brush on their skin face neck arms if their arms are in the image brighten up the skin you really make the image pop the second method is using the targeted adjustment tool in the HSL panel and um, had a video dedicated to each of those methods one video for each. And then in this video, we covered the radio filter and auto mask using a brush. So hopefully knowing these four methods will help you better help your image pop. And I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.